It's me, Miss Miguel, your PE teacher, your physical education teacher, your PE teacher, your physical education teacher. Ay, ay, ay. Let's start by warming up our engines to prevent injury. And I'm just, I'm just getting sad about it, guys. We have to do this so we do not stretch cold muscles because we can't stretch cold muscles. I just said scratch instead of stretch because I'm so sad. Here we go, and we're jogging in place. We're gonna go from jogging to toe touches. When we do the toe touches, we're gonna have to stop, to stop our jogging motion. So we're gonna go here to toe touches. One, two, three, four, and back to jogging. Good, keep moving. Make sure you're getting your feet all the way up off the ground. Good, keep going. Nice, back to toe touches, here we go. One, two, three, four, and jogging. Nice, we're going to do one more set of toe touches. We're gonna keep up this jog. We've got about 15 seconds left. Toe touches, go. One, two, three, four. Six seconds of jogging, five, four, three, two, one. Warm up check. Let's go hamstring stretch first. We're gonna put our feet together, our knees locked. We're gonna reach down towards our toes, reach. Keep your knees locked. Don't bend them when you reach forward. Good, let's do two more. Reaching down and up. Last one, reaching down and up. Next, we're gonna do standing quad stretch. Good. Most of you are getting really good at remembering that if you need help with your balance, you need to stare at something in the distance that's stationary, that's not moving. Switch. Shoulder stretch. Pull that shoulder nice and tight. Feel that stretch here. Good, let's switch. Awesome job. Tricep stretch, good. Pull that elbow behind your head. Feel that stretch on your tricep muscle. Let's switch to the other side. Good. Behind the back shoulder stretch. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna go here. Switch. Let's stretch our biceps, so let's interlock our fingers. And then we're gonna stretch our arms up as high as we can. Good, you can see that I'm going up high. Bring them back, back. <laughs> Bring them back down and then go up. Today we're going to explore our quad muscles. Do an ab workout. Abs. Ah, ah, ah. We're going to eat a piece of pizza backwards. Crust first? No. Do push-ups? Make a skateboard out of candy. No. Do curl-ups? Teach a dog how to speak French. Say, je m'appelle George. Je m'appelle George. <laughs> Do trunk lifts and record our BPM. Quads. Let's clap it. Quads. Let's clap it again. Quads. Our quad muscles are here. They go between our knees and our waist. So this is our quad muscle here. We have quad muscles on both legs. Our quads are actually made up of four different muscles. So this whole quad has four different muscles that make it up. Same with this one. How does that quad muscle feel? You can put your hand on your quad and maybe extend your leg all the way out to feel if there's any changes. Maybe you can feel that muscle flex when you extend your leg all the way out. The quad muscles are one of the largest and strongest muscles on the human body. On the human body. On the human body. On the human body, bony! Say quads three times. Quads, quads, quads. Quads, quads, quads. I'll be teaching you a new ab exercise for every day this week. Remember, our ab muscles are here. Monday's ab workout, we need to lay flat on the ground, put our hands on the ground. And what we're going to do is when I say up, you're going to bring your feet up. 
and back down. You can bring them all the way back down to the ground or you can let them hover above the ground. Ready? Go. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Last time, up and down. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. These are the muscles in my body parts, my trunk, my legs, and my arm. Next up, push ups. First, bend your knees and squat down. Crawl forward and get on your tiptoes. Remember, no booty mountain. And no booty valley. Now let's talk about tus manos, your hands. They need to be pointed forwards. They cannot be turned inwards. And they cannot be turned outwards. They must be turned forwards. And we can't forget our elbows 90 degree angle. When you go down to touch your chest to the box, try to get your elbow as close to a 90 degree angle as possible. If you are still having difficulty with push-ups, you can change over to modified push-ups. Modified push-ups are a way to train for push-ups by taking some of the weight off of your upper body. The difference between modified push-ups and push-ups is that your knees are touching the ground. Okay, exercisers, it's goal time again. What is your push-up goal for today? Are you going to try to do two, four? Are you gonna try to go all the way to 10? Whatever your goal is, make sure it's either the same as yesterday or at least one more. We'll now begin the push-up section. Ready? Begin. Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight. Down. Up. Nine. Down. Up. Ten. What is your curl-up goal, exercisers? Is it one? Is it six? Or maybe you're trying to go all the way to 12 today. Make sure your goal today is either the same as yesterday or one more than yesterday at the very least. If you do need someone to hold your feet down, that's okay if your curl-ups are looking like this. Remember, feet flat, hands flat, knees to the sky. Make sure your hands are sliding forward across the ground with each curl up. If you need someone to hold your feet, here are a few different ways they can do that. And if there's no one available to help you, remember you can always put something heavy on your feet or put your feet underneath a chair or couch. We'll begin the curl ups now. Ready, begin. Up, down, one, up, down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down, five, up, down, six, up, down, seven, up, down, eight, up, down, nine, up, down, ten, up, down, 11, up, down, 12. And now we're moving on to trunk lifts. You're gonna lay down on your stomach. You're gonna make sure your palms are facing up and you're gonna lift up, bringing your chin up as far as you can. 
Let's do five trunk lifts together. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five. Point to my quad muscles. Point to yours. Nailed it. Point to mine again. Say quads three times as fast as you can. Quads, quads, quads. It is I, the BPM girl robot. It is not BPM girl today. It is the BPM girl robot. Just kidding. <laughs> it's me. BPM girl beats per minute girl. Heart rate girl. You ready? Find your pulse. Found it. Good. It should feel like a heart beating. Exactly. We're going to count how many times our pulse beats in 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Stop! How many beats did you have? 6, 10 beats, 6, 10 beats, 10 beats, 6, 10 beats, 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 so I have 12 times six. Some of you don't need to stack it up and do the standard algorithm, um, but just in case you wanted to, six times two is 12. If I carry that one, six times one is six, plus one more is seven. So that means my BPM, whoa, my P's a little weird down there, it's a little funky. My BPM is 75. What was yours? Are these my quads? They're my biceps. Are these my quads? They're my triceps. Are these my quads? These are my quads. Just like we need to warm up our muscles to prevent injury. Injury. That is a new one. Injury. We need to cool them down to prevent injuries. So we're going to take a deep breath. And as we breathe in, we're gonna look straight up in the air. We're gonna bring our chin all the way up. So we're gonna take a deep breath. We always breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. So we're gonna go in through our nose and out through our mouth. In, out. Let your head hang all the way down. In and out. In and out. In and out. Last time, in and out. Question. Which arrows are pointing to Miss Miguel's quad muscles? The orange arrows or purple arrows? The correct answer is orange arrows.